Hello viewers, welcome to Ajade Math class. Today, I'll be putting you through on how to prepare for your JAN examination in few days. First, and first thing you really need to know is that we have two categories of students preparing for this examination. The first category are those that are writing this exam for the first time, while the second category are those that are writing this examination for the second or subsequent time. There are some things I've highlighted here that you really need to put in mind prior to the examination. The first one I'm going to talk about is that you really need to learn how to reduce your anxiety. Many of you will be so anxious that, oh, you don't really know how this exam is going to be. But the first thing I'm going to tell you is that you really need to be calm. You really need to be what? To be very calm. Because... If you are so tensed, there is high probability that you are going to make a lot of mistakes in your examination. What you really need to do is that prior to your examination, just assume that you are going to excel in this examination. Be optimistic. Have this positive feeling that this exam is so easy. So once you are calm, you've given yourself 50% edge of excelling in this examination. Secondly, while preparing for the exam, in this um, um, time, little time remaining, I will need to let you know that you need to work on that time con constraint. Okay? You really need to do what? Work on that time constraint and um, try as much as possible to make sure that um, you solve as many questions as possible. Try as much as possible to solve as many questions as possible. And once you are solving the question, give yourself timing, okay? Take for instance, you are solving 50 questions in mathematics. You just have to give yourself 10 days of maximum of one minute per question. Once you are exceeding one minute for a particular question, just know that you stand a lower chance of finishing the question at the stipulated time okay you have to work with respect to what to the time given to you okay so once you are working in your home room you can just set target of 45 seconds per minute so if you can prepare yourself within the stipulated time by the time you get to the examination considering the examination factor and the fear factor the side probably that you won't exceed the one minute okay that is the second thing you really need to take into consideration and also, you have to be very time conscious, okay? You have to be what? Time conscious. I've made mention that you set maximum of one minute for a question. And there's one thing people usually say that if you don't know a particular question in your exam, skip it and move to the next question. Please don't. Please what? Don't. This is CBT. This is computer-based test, okay? Once you skip a question, you there is high probability that you might not have enough time to go back to the question. But once you see the question and you know that you don't know the question, okay, don't just skip. I encourage you to pick anything, okay. You can just pick A, B, C, or D. Just pick anything. You cannot take note with the pencil given to you that, okay, question number 12 in English is being skipped, but you've picked an option, okay. You can stand a better chance of getting the question right, but you skipping without picking any option that is automatic zero but once you guess right and you pick an option you might possibly get it right okay that is the second thing i really need to talk about and increase your speed increase your what increase your speed at which you solve questions now what you need is just it's not for you to learn something new it's for you to master what you've learned you need to master what you've learned the topics you've learned master it perfectly and work with what required speed you need to be very time conscious jam is all about you being time conscious it's not just about you being tested for something new okay and also you study under examination condition if you want to study don't let anything distract you avoid any form of distractions study under examination condition Put yourself in the show as if you are doing the exam. You have a lot of past questions that entails the first subject you are going to do. Okay? Just put yourself under the examination condition. Put yourself in a particular room where nobody disturbs you. 
give yourself the time required three hours okay and make sure you solve all the questions in less than three hours you know make sure you solve maximum two and a half hours if you can do this then the rest are sure and then um, also familiarize yourself with cbt familiarize yourself with cbt possibly you might not have computer at home but i encourage you to make use of phones there are some cbt on phones but most importantly if you can get a computer whereby you know how to drag the mouse this is highly encouraged but should in case you don't have that familiarize yourself with phones and see how it can be done with what with phones and also um under the time timing i encourage you to use the stopwatch okay this will be perfectly done and um thirdly i encourage you to work on your weaknesses and improve on your strengths okay you all know your weaknesses most importantly you know your weak subjects you know your weak topic okay so you have to work on these weaknesses okay take for instance in math or mathematics your topic your weak topic is geometry i encourage you to solve questions on geometry even if you don't get it go and check the answer from the back of the past question look at the method being used okay once you see the method being used master the method move to another question you apply the same method that was used for the first one in the second uh, question i'm very sure by the time you try it for five questions you will get it right so your weaknesses you do what you master it very well you perfect it you improve on it and your strength you know your strength do not be, uh, be overconfident in this examination because overconfidence can do what can kill can affect you your grade so once you know your strength your particular subject strength I encourage you to solve more more and more questions because say for instance your examination your strength is um mathematics for example and you are able to get um 80 in mathematics english which is a weak subject you are able to get 45 look at the average of the two 80 out of 45 is um, 125 the average is 60 something but in a case whereby your strength you are too lax on your strength and at the end of the day your score is being affected and you are able to get uh, let's say um, 60 and your weak subject which is english you're only able to get 40. look at the average which is 50. can you see that the average is being affected so you have to improve on your strengths also master it very well and your weaknesses also and lastly i encourage you to use jam textbooks use as many jam textbooks as possible i'm not going to be specific on a particular jam textbooks for you to use but look at the approach i usually tell my student jam do not test your ability on how brilliant you are not only that but how smart you are there are some mathematics question physics question whereby you don't even need pen or calc calculator merely looking at the question you'll be able to pick what the answer is and there's this method we call it elimination method in mathematics Elimination method, I'm not referring to simultaneous equation in this regard. But you're looking at the options given to you. From that, you can look at, okay, option A, B, C, D. Looking at option A, you can see that option A does not fit, fit in. Okay? Option B does not fit in. So, you can test A, you can test D. So, if it does not fit in, you know that it should be between C and D. At times, you can only put input value into the question given to you so look at the gimmicks there are several gimmicks in which you can be used in some advanced question and if you are working on english as well if you are working on um, other topics as well all they need is the in-depth knowledge okay of the topic so through that you'll be able to pick your answer and lastly i know your exam is in few days time you need to get yourself a mentor someone who have written this examination before and, and have excelled perfectly move with the person let the person share with you an insight on how to do well in this examination so these are the little tips in which i'm just going to discuss with you i wish you good luck in your examination and at the end of the day after your examination i want you to come back to this video type in your score and let's celebrate your success together don't forget to like this page and also subscribe to our youtube channel ajadi math class thank you very much and Good luck in your examination.